So last week I built this deck here at my off-grid cabin in the woods. And today I'm gonna be finishing it by building some handrail and some stairs coming off of it. And I'm going to match this custom tree design that I made for the front porch. This front deck remodel was the first thing I did when I bought the cabin back in 2020. And those custom pickets inspired this tree design, which had to be a little bit smaller. So I redesigned it, redrew it just freehand and then cut it out of wood. So I used that design on the outside of the door, on the inside of the door. And as we head inside the cabin, right above the fireplace, I used that design on the pickets for the loft handrail as well. That's kind of become the uh, official logo of my channel. So of course I got to keep it going on this porch handrail out here. So I'm excited to get started on this. I think this porch turned out pretty nice, but it's not complete until I put a handrail on. And I got the materials today to do it. And the next 48 hours are supposed to be dry and sunny here. So I'm going to try and knock this out for the next two days. After that, it's going to pour down rain. So I'm going to try and get it done before then. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna start by building the stairs. And before I build the stairs, I'm going to cap off the end of this deck with some trim pieces here to cover that up, make it look pretty. Okay, I got that one screwed on. Now, before I start building my stairs, I better prop this open and leave it open so that while I'm building my stairs, I know where that's gonna be. Because if I don't do that right now, I may have forgotten and then built the stairs and then realized, oh shoot, the door doesn't open. <laughs> so now I know, okay, I gotta build the stairs over there. 10,000. Miles gone, but this little way. Take me to the river. I'm gonna live forever. Make them feel forsaken, just lead them safely to the light. I think that will hold my stairs. I know, I know. I really should notch out of this stair tread so that this is up in there, if you know what I'm saying. So for those of you that know what I'm saying, I hear you, but uh, it's gonna be strong. One, two, three, four screws, plus six more screws in there. It'll be fine, it'll hold.
In my experience building decks, I have found that a construction pencil's width is a good distance between your treads. So that's what I'm going with here. Oh no. No, I screwed up. Oh, dang it. All right, well, I can't say I haven't done this before. I have done this before and I didn't learn from my mistake. These pre-cut tread things from Home Depot the very bottom one is already cut to size for a kick plate and then two top plates and then a kick plate here. But then on the very top, this part right here, it's wider at the top. You can see this is a pencil width here. This is a pencil width here. But if I do the same thing up top, if I make this a pencil width like that and I do another pencil width there, it's too short. There's a step right there which is not good i want it to be right there but then this gap is too big so i need to take all these off and cut an inch and a half off of here now we'll do a pencil width All right, mission accomplished. I finished the stairs before dark. <laughs> I will pick up on things tomorrow. Oh, and watch this. Here we go, here we go. Woo! Look how close that is. That was intentional. <laughs> Made it as close as I could to hitting the door. I'm back the next morning and guess what? I woke up to realize that I had made another mistake yesterday when building these stairs. The whole thing needed to drop down an inch and a half. <laughs> so I took some treads off and I removed these metal brackets. I'm not even gonna use those anymore. I had to dig the pier pads down into the ground, re-level them, and then I ended up just putting screws directly into that board that comes down and I put them into the back of the stair treads and just bypass those metal brackets completely. Oh my gosh, I don't... So, unfortunately, I'm getting a late start to the project because of that today. Seven inches, seven inches, seven inches. Level and level. Stairs complete. It's all good, reset. The past is gone. I am born anew. And now I'm gonna build the handrail.
That's a big step. Making progress here. There's still plenty of daylight left. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Mental fatigue is a real thing. As I stand back here and inspect my work, I can see that this right here needs to slide down because this is supposed to match that. So it won't be too hard. That's four screws. I'll just slide it down and then screw it back together. Then the pickets are gonna go screw on the bottom here and then on the top there. So that's gonna work out okay. If I was feeling better, I would finish this little section right here, but man. There was so much thinking and contemplating and then those mistakes that I made just kind of got to me. You know? I feel exhausted, like I could sleep right now. I, I want to pass out. <laughs> so I'm going to get something to eat that will probably help me feel better and then we'll pick up on things tomorrow. Always good to start off your work day by doing something that you know is going to be successful. So I started off by achieving a goal here and now I gotta frame the other handrail over there and then it'll be time to make the pickets. All right, this deck is ready for pickets now. This was always going to be a tough angle here but I made it even tougher on myself by not just shifting the whole deck that way to avoid this door completely. But because of how this door opens, I had to cut not only this angle this way, but this angle this way on all these pieces right here. Well, not that one. And then this one completely avoided that. It's just one angle because the door doesn't swing up that far, but the door avoids that and it all works. And it misses the stairs too. I've decided I'm gonna build a handrail going up these stairs too on the front deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and build that real quick. And then after that's done, I will work on doing this same picket design here, here, there, and there. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the history, this is my original template. This is the first one I cut out. You might be able to see how many times I've used it. There's red Sharpie and pencil marks all over this one because it's the one I've used to mark out all the ones that I've ever cut out. And this cardboard cutout is the one I used to make that. The backstory on why I created this tree design is because I knew I was gonna be building a deck and I wanted to just not use straight pickets because that's ordinary and everybody uses that. So I was walking down the street in the city one day and I noticed on a pillar of a parking garage there was something very similar to this it was a tree that someone drew and they drew it on all the pillars of the parking garage and I was like oh that's close to what I want to do it's a little too detailed for what I want to do but it's close so I took a picture of it I think I have a video of me looking at that picture that I took on my phone on the ground as I freehand drew this tree out so I just kind of looked at that picture and used it as inspiration for the general shape like this this is the tree and you can see how before I cut this cardboard out there were like several iterations on the same thing before I finally like okay I kept etching it in like no that's that's too much of a branch I need less of a branch okay let's make it skinnier let's make it wider till I finally created my own unique design here so that's the backstory on this I'm from the Pacific Northwest and I love evergreen trees and I love that aesthetic of uh, houses in Europe in the mountains and cabins and it's not just Europe you know you'll find them in the mountains of Colorado or wherever ski towns they often have custom handrails and shutters that have something like this so this is my version of that
There we go. One down, a whole lot more to go. <laughs> Exactly halfway through now. Ah, oh, my hands hurt. They're looking pretty good though. So I'm pre-drilling these so that when I put my screws in, these don't split. The wood doesn't split. everybody well I did it that's another project down here at my off-grid cabin in the woods this one was a challenge mostly on the mind let me tell you a lot of thinking going on in this project but I think it all worked out pretty well to finish this project off I installed this handrail here now this is a walking stick actually it was given to me by my step step grandfather larry who has now passed away unfortunately he gave me this walking stick that he got from alaska and because i have trekking poles i've never actually used it as a walking stick but it's been sitting over there on the porch for a while and i was like you know what i could use that as a handrail so last night i put that together and it took some adjustment i actually started off by installing it a little bit too high and then after just kind of standing and using my own body for scale i adjusted it to the right height and i know it looks kind of long sticking out here but i kind of like that because as you walk up and approach you can 
start grabbing it early. I might cut it off shorter here and I'm definitely gonna uh, probably round this off, sand it down. Cause this is kind of a, it, with it sticking out here, it could get caught on your pocket or something. So when I have guests and family members come up here who are up there in age, I know that when people who have trouble getting around on their feet, as soon as they see stairs, they're like, uh, handrail. I need handrail. <laughs> so I would like to add something that you can actually physically grab with your hand onto this one as well. Because when you're exiting the cabin, like I said, if you're an elderly folk and you're walking, you're like, oh boy, stairs, where's, where's the handrail? I need something to grab onto. And then same thing as you're walking up to the cabin before there was no handrail. And so that's quite an obstacle for someone who has trouble getting around on their feet. So now you can walk up and at least for now, you can you can grab onto this and just have something to hold on to. Well, that's a wrap for this project. I really appreciate you guys checking it out. I get a lot of comments on my channel now, so I really appreciate everyone's feedback. A lot of positivity on the channel, and uh, I I can't tell you how much I appreciate the viewership, the feedback. Everything is just really keeps me going, keeps me positive. Oh, one last thing I want to mention, neighbor Al, he's doing well. Him and I are still friends. <laughs> I know a lot of people are interested in Al and his life. And that's, of course, he's an awesome guy. And I've always been able to make videos with him during times where I'm close to him watching his neighbor's house, the South family, but I'm not in his area anymore. He's quite a drive away from me and he's my friend too and I never want to take advantage of our friendship and feel like I'm using Al to pump out content to get views that's not what me making videos with Al is about it's uh I want it to be an organic relationship where hey I got time to spend with Al and he's got he needs my help and I can make a video about this that's worthwhile to share with the world that type of thing that's how I want it to be so Al's doing well, and you will see him in the future. I don't know when, uh, but when the time's right. So thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.